Do you know our Scottish pioneer, William Thompson? He grew up speaking English and Gaelic in the home. His mother only spoke Gaelic. William moved west to the island of Isla, where he married his wife, Betsy. Then they immigrated to Canada due to the Great Potato Famine. There they joined the church, baptized by Orson Hyde. William missed his family in Scotland and wrote home, encouraging his parents and siblings to find the missionaries in Glasgow and learn about the gospel. The Thompsons joined the saints in Missouri and then Illinois. They lived near the Nauvoo Temple, and William also farmed land east of Nauvoo. He was licensed to preach, but sadly, his wife and their youngest daughter died. William remarried a few years later, but his second wife died in childbirth, and after that, he gave up on marriage. William brought his children to Utah, and when he took out citizenship papers, he added a G to his name to distinguish himself from the other William Thompsons in the area. I think the G stood for Gaelic. I'm the Scottish William Thompson of Bountiful. One time the family had no corn and knelt in prayer and asked Heavenly Father to provide them with food. While they were still kneeling, a man knocked at the door and asked if William would come fix his chimney. As the man had no money, he offered to pay in corn. Grandpa Thompson was a father figure to his daughter Mariah Hatch's eight children for 18 years until his death. An aged lady friend of his remembered, curiously enough, that Brother Thompson used to visit us and what a lovely hymn singer he was in his sleep. And now you know William G. Thompson.